The murder of UConn football player Jasper Howard has turned what, a, what is usually a lively campus into more of a somber one. Students are having a tough time dealing with a crime that happened so close to home. Um, it's very tragic. I mean, it goes to show you that you, you just got to cherish every moment. And um, just what happened there was just in, in the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. And, and it, it took the life of somebody that was had had tremendous talent on the football field and, and had opportunities to, to go places with it. It just um, sucks that uh, somebody that probably doesn't even go to this school just ruined a lot of things for him and his family. I think it's definitely been a shock to all the students and just the faculty and everybody that um, is on campus, I think, is coming together now to realize that you know, violence is a problem and it can happen anywhere, even a campus as safe as UConn. A lot of people, I think, are pretty shocked by it. And, and you know, it's it's tough, but I think, you know, Edsel is going to take care of it. We're going to, you know, figure this thing out and, you know, we'll move forward from it. And, you know, things are a little bit different here, but I think, like, in the end, I think we'll come out fine and stronger from this. The entire UConn community looks to remember Jasper Howard but they also look to move forward from this tragedy. The team will have their first chance this Saturday when they travel to West Virginia to take on the Mountaineers. The rest of the UConn community will have a chance to remember Jasper Howard when the school holds a memorial service Saturday before the game. From Stores, Connecticut, I'm Marcus Lynham for ESPNU Campus Connection.